we know two, four, six, eight. These are integer numbers, and we can say even integer numbers. What can we say for minus two, minus four, minus six? That is the negative integer or negative even integer. Welcome to Amit's Math School. Let's start the main discussion with a question. That is, can even or odd number be negative? That is, can the even or odd integer numbers be negative? In this video, we find our answer using the properties of even number and the negative or positive integer number. Let's see the definition of even number. An integer that is divisible by 2 is known as even number. All even number can be written in the form 2n where n is an integer number. Here you see all even number can be written in the form this 2n where n is an integer number. And we know the integer number is starting from minus infinity and at infinity. So we can easily say this. If this n is starting at minus infinity and end at plus infinity, so this two and this 2n must be start at minus infinity and end at plus infinity. So we can say even number can be negative. To check the properties of even number, let's take one negative number that is minus 2. To check the properties 1. Even number can be expressed as 2k where k is an integer. So we can write minus 2 as 2 into minus 1 which is equal to minus 2. So this property of even number is satisfied by minus 2. That is even number can be expressed as 2k where this k is an integer number. So this minus 2 can be written as 2 into minus 1 where this minus 1 is the value of k in this case of which is integer number. So this property is satisfied by minus 2. So with this property we can say minus 2 is even number. Let's see the next property. To check the property 2. Even number is divisible by 2 and leaves the remainder 0. For minus 2 divided by 2 the result will be minus 1 and the remainder will be 0. So this property of even number is satisfied by minus 2. Let's see the next property. That is to check the property 3. An even number end with 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. For the minus 2, this one is the end with 2. So we can say this property is also satisfied by minus 2. We can say this minus 2 is even number. With the help of this 3 property, we can say minus 2 as an even number. Finally, we can say even or odd number can be negative. Here, we just check the property of even number. Similar one for the odd number. So we can say even or odd number can be negative. Let's see another property, that is to check the properties 4. This one is a very special property. This property is not applicable for all even numbers. So let's see the property, that is the product of two even numbers is even. If we take minus 2 times minus 2, in that case the result will be 4, which is even number. So we can say this property is satisfied by minus 2. But if we take one negative and one positive, in that case the property will not be satisfied. This property is not satisfied by all even numbers. As we know, the even or odd number is subset of set of all integer numbers. So, if we divide the integer number into its subset, we get in one portion that is the negative number, which is starting from minus infinity and end at this minus 1. And at the another end, we will get the positive numbers, that is starting from 1 to infinity. And at the middle, that is the neutral number we can say that is 0. If we again take the set of all integer number, this set of integer number can be separated into another three parts. That is the odd numbers and even numbers and the neutral number that is 0. If the number is starting from minus infinity to plus infinity, we separate it in even and odd. In that case, the Odd number will be plus minus 1, plus minus 3, plus minus 5, and so on. And the even number will be plus minus 2, plus minus 4, plus minus 6, and so on. And the 0 will be the neutral number. So we can easily say even or odd number can be negative.